You know what this reminds you of, Paul? The new millennium set of celebration at Wake Up the Water. I only invited 25 people, and about 250 turned up. I said, where did you all come from? I only invited 25. You think they would leave? Do you remember we had a mine? We had an Egyptian playing a didgeridoo. <laughs> Chinese, we had a group from the islands playing their... You know, it was, it was awesome, really. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. The other big thing, of course, is they bought all their own cake. <laughs> <laughs> big boxes of crayfish, you name it, they had bags of rice. So, you know, this is the way it is. And I know it's the same thing here tonight, you know. But at the end of the day, we're one final. My family get a bit embarrassed. They say, Mom, you said only 24. <laughs> <laughs> and you get the bite. We've got plenty of water, you know. I never panic, I never worry. That's just how it goes. And so for me, when I look at you, no, we're one big final. And that's what I love about it. And I'm looking at all the colors. You know, that's I wear a lot of color. Because all my, uh, from my Jeep window, we always had, you know, colorful cloaks. Even the Kiwi cloak is not black. Mm -hmm. Ross, if you ever see Rose Perry wearing black, it's for double protection. <laughs> <laughs> Means someone's getting at my back, so. So you should be happy to see me in red. <laughs> but you know, when I think about Tepeke, and those of you who bought those books, thank you ever so much, because I need money to publish the other book I'm writing about myself as a Toho in the which is not easy because I've had to put up with a lot of rubbish that I've heard over the years. Uh, we had the Toho in the Suppression Act. And it's interesting because it was our own Māori MPs that brought it in. And thousands of our people cursed them for bringing in the Torah and the Suppression Act. So consequently for me, up front, I'm known as an educationist, but I still retain the traditions and that I was born into. I was born into the Kurahuna, Matapare Wananga, Kurahuna is what we call it. It's our mystery school. And uh, so for me, the book is spelling it all out as to what I've had to live with over the years and how I had to work up front, educationists, but I still was practicing, serving the people because I was told your job is to look after the people, serve the people. And the whole my way, I my hoodie hood and more now my way. Or do you you're here to work and serve. Okay? And so that's how it's always been. My grandson is saying, oh, Nanny, we should stay back tonight, you know? <laughs> I'm not talking about tonight, but some other time. And I think, no, we have something that we need to do. It's a part of the old disciplines that I was born into. And uh, I remember my grandfather, he's a paramount chief, last one to eat. Everybody else ate first. He always ate last. And it was always a privilege to eat with him. So that's the world I come from. 
We always had the, you know, all that Kaumatu, all that. And Kaumatu, which was the both Kui and Clover, uh, all this. We were used to, and for me, humility. They said, no, you know, the deity. And no, for deity. Be humble. But you know, it's the highest form of arrogance. Because when you know from whence you have come, you know what your destiny is. And that was the same with Jesus. He knew from whence he came, and he knew what his destiny was. And we all know that he was very humble. So for me, I want to share to Peggy, seeing that you people were bought those books. And just to let you know which eight concepts in that book link into the tentacles of Tefeke, Kamatu, the octopus of great wisdom from the Kurohana. And so that you will know how to look after number one, it's important. You look after number one, it means that you can serve and do a lot more for your family, for your community, for your country, and then for the world community. <coughs> what it's about because it's no use. I've had people who have come in to see, you know, us when we're not well. So help me, they're not well themselves. <laughs> and these are nurses, you know. Even doctors, I've told them a thing or two. <laughs> uh, and in fact, I have a lot of doctors, government agencies who use to figure. Uh, and some of you know this because you use it in the Potawana in the universities. So now I'm going to share those eight tentacles with you and they embrace you with love, eh? Not that? <laughs> he said, are you hot? Well, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly not cold. <laughs> if you come to Waikato and want to right now, Paul, we've got snow and we've got ice. So I'm feeling hot up here. Uh, give the nod, I go to your photo. Say to get out your mother, eh? But I'm getting used to your words. Uh, so, for me, look, last night, he gave it the mahana, eh? Oh, for us, because we're freezing cold at Waikato and Mona, but you know, even there I'm hot cold, so. So, <laughs> so if we look at. Uh, has someone got a copy of that book here? Yeah. yeah. Jackie? Yeah. I'll get you to take it off so you know you Don't can tell me which ones are. <laughs> no, just Mana, Mori, Tahatinana, Tahatinana, Fonana Tanga, Taha. What are they doing? Taha Chinana? Yes. You got that? As long as we've got eight, all right? <laughs> <laughs> and we can start off in any order. <laughs> now, mana for us means. Remember that you are absolutely unique. There has never been anyone like you and there never will be. So you celebrate who you are. Takumana, takumana, mana motu hake. Takumana, takumana, mana motu hake. Takuihi, takuihi, takuana, mana. All right? That keeps us going. That helps us to step up when we need to. So for me, mana is also the vested authority that we have from our divine source as well as our tipuna. Blessed authority. So mana, that's how we see it. But for us, as far as we're concerned, mana is dependent on the way you look after people and you treat people. Whether it's in so, 
So, you know, these things, that's one of the tentacles of the octopus. But it, and uh, you as an individual, every one of us has mana. And you know, one of the things I had to share this with you is there's one uh, him or whatever it is that I don't like is this one, miserable wretch like me. <laughs> because for us, we need to be as beautiful as we possibly can. That is a tribute to our beautiful divine source. You know? There's no way I'm going to say to our beloved Father, you produced me, a poor miserable wretch. <laughs> no. Thank you for making me beautiful. I love you for what you have done for me. It's a tribute to our divine source as well as our birth parents. You know? So remember that. Just look at yourself and say, wow. Mm. Oh? <laughs> I think, oh. <laughs> you know my relation, Prince Tui Tega? <laughs> hey? He said, oh Lord, it's hard to be humble. You know why? He knew he was beautiful. <laughs> he had some teeth missing. <laughs> some going to work again. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> but you know, to me, every ounce is precious. <laughs> and see, when I got married to Joe Penny, I was only eight stones, 22 inch waist. Then I uh, actually said to him one day, You're lucky, Joe, there are three of me now. <laughs> <laughs> no way am I going to say I've lost it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's mana. Next thing. Fati Manawa. For us, that's the all seeing eye of the heart. We tune in with the Fati Manawa. <laughs> Someone mentioned that too. Links into Hemata uh, Kite. Into the seeing eye up here, that's true. But that's the one that sort of handles and deals with emotions. For us, uh, we believe in expressing emotion. Not sort of, you know, pretending it's not happening when it is. Eh? Like some people do. <laughs> We're not like that. We can see it happening, we tell them it's happening. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. You know, but I should see it with my colleagues in education. God, they should pretend these were happy when they were. <laughs> and for me, without 12, only 12 of us to change the face of education in this country, the only weapon we had was the weapon of embarrassment <laughs> to use on our colleagues. And I remember we had a national conference in Wellington of all our officers, and we had the third man from the top get up on the stage and he said, Tena Kato! Na Ramatira Menga Wahini! I thought, is that right? <laughs> Below, from his seat. And I said, if we're all one at dinner, do you hear me? Until we prove otherwise. Then I punched him. <laughs> punched him, you know, down there. And, uh, there was absolute silence. You could hear the pin drop. You know, the whole conference. Then I just walked off the stage. Went back to my seat and watched. <laughs> for the Director General Bill, Bill Rennick to see what he would do. Guess what he did? Pretend it didn't happen? Yes, he pretended it didn't happen. <laughs> he went on to the next speaker. <laughs> How does that drive you? <laughs> but you know what happened after that? They made sure they learned the protocols correctly. <laughs> he 
including our language. <laughs> and they became Florence Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I laughed, my colleague said, hey Rose, what would have happened if that had been a man? I said, I had to knock him out. <laughs> traditions I was born into. So I could outrun my colleagues uh, and I learned English as a second language and I learned it well and I re remember my colleagues in Gisborne, they said, Rose, you can't possibly go out to Joe's school. Joe was a principal, my husband. They said, you will be accused of nepotism. <laughs> I said, nepotism comes from the Greek word nepos, which means nephew. Now, Joe is not my nephew, so stop your nonsense. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and you could see they were shocked. I don't dare put him more here, eh? <laughs> What happened when I went out to Joe's school with my colleagues? I got a big poor hitty from Roma Fakata. They were very proud to have a Māori in as an inspector of schools in, in the office. Mm. My colleagues wouldn't have been able to handle it. And Joe spoke to me in terms of my own mana, not as his wife. He referred to my own roots and my own people, you know? That's what I'm talking about. So Hiningaro, for me, it's using that whole brain, if we have to. <laughs> right, any questions, comments? <coughs> To try and change that? Cultivating. Yeah. Cultivating. We, we keep working. New Zealand, we can, you know, set the things here by, you know, just coming together as one, all of us. You know, just set it because we just keep moving so the energy moves out. You know, see, what I'm doing is I'm doing, uh, for example, I've been invited to go to the US in October to an international gathering of religions. And I thought, why on earth are they asking me to go to that gathering because I had never been programmed by the state or religion, okay? But they want to get the point of view perspective from a Māori. And so I'll be sharing, I guess. But that's what I'm saying is, you know, that for me, no. We have to keep working at ourselves in this country and coming together as one, all of us. And remembering that whānau is from that four. Like for me, my whare, do you know where my whare is, my home? It moves across the heavens in the four directions. Fa, le, e, the vibration of the heavens. So it doesn't matter where I go in Papatūnuku, I'm at home. I don't yeah. feel I'm at a loss at all. Yeah. I don't. So, you know, when I was in Israel, I would work with both the Palestinians 
and these ways. I will say to them, you both come down from Abraham. Okay, one of you from the handmaiden, the other one from, you know, Sarah. But you need to remember who you are. So, I've had a lot of Palestinians who wanted to come home, you know, with Joe and I. He passed a Palestinian, my poor mate, and they thought he was in Black September and all that stuff. And they had him at gunpoint, you know, the machine gun. I thought, now what? <laughs> but you see, he looked like a Palestinian, eh? I said to Joe, well, that's your problem, eh? <laughs> In the head, I look like the right people. <laughs> but not only that, I was coming when we traveled. I had, I would have a long black dress on, and I would have a big green stone cross. So they would all think that I was probably a nun or a kid. You know. <laughs> And what I would do is, you know, when I was to go into the cathedrals, they would take me straight up to the altar. <laughs> and then Jay would be seen as a tourist. <laughs> he was a Roman Catholic, and he had to stay outside the room. <laughs> but I'm the Roman Catholic. I said, you don't look like one. <laughs> Black vision, the green stone cross. Any more comments or questions? So you see what we had to do? We had to work. Yeah. You know, just sending the love out, the energy, the energies we have from New Zealand is a pulse. This is Hawaii Toto. And that helps the planet. But we also send out the violet flame, Kahukura. Now, why are Huru Huru the cherishing waters? These are the energies that we have in New Zealand. So we send those out. I do it every day. Plus, when I travel, I talk to groups and, you know, just keep on saying we're one, we're one, you know. And, uh, and we had to see each other as all being related. It's the only way. Because then you'll continue to work at it. Just saying, these are my brothers and sisters. We've got to try and help. Well, we're, that's what I'm saying. We'll start merging in as one. You know, that is the, the, the aim of us moving on the new threshold. So that's how I see it. We'll start to all come together so that by the year 2038, uh, you know, people will be one right across and sharing instead of fighting, yeah. instead of having separation and division. Yeah. See, one of the things that concerns me in New Zealand is I've seen it amongst our own people, Māori people, fighting over land claims. You wouldn't believe it. No? And I think, Tata is a Fenua Kotata. We are one with her. Why are we fighting? And I'm thinking, come on, get my Tata to Mari, eh? What? We must be talking for fight, don't come with me, don't put it. Put a stop to it. It's not on. We're supposed to set an example for our children and to show the other one. So I don't take sides. Why is that Waikato Mona were a buffer state? We, it, to be a true Waikato Mona person, you've got to have ties with Tuhoi, you've got to have Kahimenu, Ruapani, those three. Tainui, we link into Tainui as well. And we also link into Rungamai Wahine. If we don't have that, we are not true blues from Waikato Mwana. Kamuchi. So we don't have people coming in from Manga Porto and saying, me pene, me pera, et tamahai. So for us, and our saying at Waikato Mwana is Waikato Mwana Pananga Kore, which means we're beholden to no one. 
but our source, divine source. And so when uh, Karapuku Japunai told the Kohanga Rao, give the mana back to the people, send the Kohanga, don't have a bureaucracy. Well, we were called terrible names from one end of the country to the other. And then uh, Kala and I were invited to go up on the coast to Indunaji Pro. And Kala said, look, I can't go with you. He said, I've got to go to Hawaii. Get them to postpone it until I get back so that we could go together. I said, don't worry, Kala, you go. I'll go up. So I went up and one of my Naji Pro relations, because I linked into Naji Pro, how is he? Went up and they were expecting to see Tuhoi, a whole busload. <coughs> so fire came down and said, oh, come here to I said, it's only the Lone Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even got Tonto. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a call. So they gave me a call and I told them what the story was. Holding my messages for 12 beats at a time to link into the 12 heavens. So they had the whole history. They couldn't believe it. Because that's the only code in, in, in Tuhoi anyway, is to hold your messages for 12 beats at a time. Uh, but you can say whatever you like. So they heard everything. And then when I sat down on the mana, they thought years ago, two old women, they don't fight corridor. So anyway, way fire goes, he's doing a fight corridor. So I just get up, I said, go, 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 Straight into it. Oh, yeah. Straight into it. And they turned around and said, go, the chicken go, 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 the go, 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 but what am I saying to us? Sometimes you have to be the Lone Ranger. <laughs> but just remember a woman called Rose Billy. <laughs> when you're a bit hesitant, say, man, I'm awake. Kia kawa ke tō tato, ka nui te kua roha. Kia koto ki ara kia tato koto. Tō reira, ka mihi tonu, ka mihi tonu ra. I just love you. Can't help it. Mm. <laughs> 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 like, which song do you want? <laughs> you got an I E O? You got an I E O? All right. Well, you know the action is eh? You should get it by now. <laughs> so you can stand up, Mr. Hoppin.
Pop out you guys to fight. Stay late too. Hey, too, me here to get out of the fight. Go ahead and start the 14 days start to eat the fuck, fuck, the eye. Hang on, you hold my hand on. The same fuck. That was chapter two. Okay, I know chapter three, chapter four. If we only could learn one or two little things that she, she has taught us tonight, then of course everything has been worthwhile. We love you. Uh, Nato, this is so much worthwhile. I hope uh, I'll listen to Paul and his co-papa for tomorrow before we, we wind up in that night. I just might, might disappear in the morning, uh, I don't know. Again, I rang today at midday and they said, I got to mend the whole motini. I think I'll pop up, I might have to disappear for this. I don't know if I'm going to get out of here, but it's been one of the eye-openers. I'm going to get out of here. And, and again, now that I come on これ I'm not here tomorrow. We know I'm here to go to the house. 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 I'm here to go to Tena, <laughs> 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 ที่จะโนเฮวะเฮคอมาตัวอย่างเงี้ยคือตัวมันจะเฮาใครกันเนี่ยเอ่อเมื่อที่โนโฮนเรทีนน่ะโอตาตานาเตเมื่อโมเ